I'm not checking out that space. I would consider that outer space. <laughs> and no. I have no desire to go. I have no desire to go to outer space. <laughs> when you tell me something's a fucking million miles away, I don't think I'm interested in jumping on and just taking what, it right off. What if there. you could get there in 10 minutes, though? If I was like, oh, so fresh, let's go fucking hang out on Mars for the day. And it was like an hour trip. Would you go? Motherfucker, if I could get there in a week. There's places I can't get to on the other side of the <laughs> earth in a week. He said in 10 minutes. You ready? Oh, fucking Christ. Do you even have to ask me that? Yeah. Because you'd be like, I'm not ready. Ladies and gentlemen, and whatever uh, other band of idiots are out there listening to us, if you are brave enough to carry our intellectual contraband, I would like to welcome you to the show, the one, the only, this is the Hype Podcast, I'm the host with no name. I'm also fresh, and if you're irresponsible enough to listen to us, we are going to shake you all the way down to your soul. We have lost our minds, we thought we'd come back and remind you, hey, the donate on Patreon, you, I'm looking at you, I'm looking at the camera, if you're too poor to avoid, afford the video, now... I started to release old episodes of the Hype Podcast on YouTube, so if you are a rerun-ass motherfucker, then go ahead and watch the reruns. Make sure you check us out on TikTok at under or at oh so fresh, because this motherfucker ain't fucking with me. No, no, and I'm not fucking if you want to hear us on Instagram, this motherfucker ain't fucking with it. It's at the Hype Podcast on Instagram. I am ready hey, to rumble. You know, you know, you forgot the most important piece of that. What? Patreon.com forward slash the Hype Podcast. Take you directly to our Patreon page. All of a sudden, you want to get paid. I always want to get paid. Hey, if you want to donate to a good cause, like I said, I, I, I'll put a fly on my face so I can look like an Ethiopian. If you want to donate, we are the world, we are the children. Not just big on Ethiopia. If you are a country that is having famine problems right now, I'm picking on you. I'm not, I don't know. I can't keep up on the famine. I got a whole refrigerator full of bottled water, bitch. <laughs> Hey, motherfucker, I'm throwing away food before it expires. <laughs> That's how good we living over here. But I will say, if you're in Ethiopia and you're spending, you know, that $1.50 a month, spend it on Patreon. Spend it on us. Donate to us. We'll give you a shout out. And if you can even listen to us in Ethiopia, fuck yeah. So if you are, if you are in some country where there's a food shortage and you're still paying for cell phone service so you can listen to us, fight on the fucking you. <laughs> Priorities Applause out there. to that guy. <laughs> Fuck with the podcast. I'll tell you what. You're I'll my day what. one. I'll tell you what. If you're if you're getting the cell phone signal to listen to us, we'll come by via the internet and give you a little welfare check once in a while. Make sure you got some water. Make sure you've eaten this month. Hold on. No, hold, on, we'll on, do hold, that. hold on. Welfare checks are for American blacks. What? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I no, know. No, 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 no. no, no I'm talking about. I, 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 I'm talking I'm about. Saying, <laughs> if any blacks are going to get welfare checks, they're not going to be in fucking Africa. I'm talking I mean, about. I, I know the majority of welfare checks actually go to white people, so let's get that straight. But if some blacks are going to get some fucking welfare checks around this motherfucker, where we're not getting reparations, at <laughs> least you're going to be the blacks is here, not the blacks over there. You donate to them. I'm talking about the urban suburbia welfare check. Nothing to do with finances or government checks. White people, quite literally, I, I was a witness to this last night, we'll do welfare checks if there's suspicious things going in the, on in our neighborhood. What the fuck is a welfare check? Welfare, you call the police and say, hey, I want to do a welfare check on my neighbor. He's elderly. It's 100 degrees out. I haven't seen him all day, but his house See, is wide open. That's where suburbia got you white folks fucked up. Because in most, in, in most concerned in most ethnic communities, there's you just know that motherfucker over there. Like you know, if I haven't seen Mister Davis in three or four days, I probably know his landlord, and we're just gonna walk in there and see Mister Davis is his belly up, or you know, we I'm, don't like people that much. White people don't. White people detest other white people of similar means. Because when you brought this to me, I was like, yeah, is it a police thing? No, it's not a police thing. There's just a better sense of community. We, a, because when you have a good community, you really don't need the police as much. Are you sure that the black community just doesn't like calling the police? 
No, it's not. It's nothing to do with that. I would say I, I I'm quick to call a black motherfucker doing wrong up in the shit. I don't care if you went to a historical black college or if you used to historically smoke crack. Black motherfuckers fuck up pretty serious all the time. That's why I can't go no place because a motherfucker that look like me commits all the goddamn crime. But when it comes to that, nah, it's not about that. It's it, it really is. I think there's a closer knit community because you like know everybody up the block. So you would you kind of be like, oh well, you know, if you have an elderly black woman in your neighborhood, you're, you're always going or man, if you're I, just elderly and black, I'm not <laughs> I'm not saying elderly black women move to my neighborhood so I can check up on you. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying if, you, if there's someone elderly, well, like I have my neighbors across the street. They happen to be Caucasian. I would not do a welfare check. I would just go over there, knock on the door. Me and Junior kick it in all the day. <laughs> man, make sure their TV ain't better than yours. Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> Damn right. Well, I, Damn I, I right. gotta say the this. TV must have fell on him because it's off the wall now. It's off the wall now. Mine. I, I gotta say this. I know. I, I know. Me as a, a ridiculous white person, I I get it in my head where I'm like, you know what? These fucking police. The police work for me anyway. I'm gonna call them motherfuckers. Hey, make them do I, their job. I never say the police work for me, and that's for. <laughs> That just doesn't sound right. But living in a white ass neighborhood, no, I'm I'm probably except for the old people across the street, sure. I'm probably going to call and get you a welfare check because it might. I don't I don't want you to take it wrong. Well, I mean, okay, I don't, that they, and you, that, you you did have a big TV invite me over for the fucking Super Bowl. I don't want you to take it like I'm coming back to collect the TV. I just want to see if you were okay. That and in this day and age. Being, being a middle I, I'm almost middle aged I'm like a decade away from being middle aged right you look like Macho Man Randy Savage right now thank you thank you oh yeah <laughs> oh yeah oh yeah but you know a, dec- a decade off of being a middle aged white man oh yeah I gotta be very very fucking careful like if I see children that look haggard walking down the street without adults it no matter what in my heart of hearts if I'm like those kids are in fucking danger I can't just walk up on them and be like, hey, are you little kids doing okay? No. No, you, you better cross the street. Yeah. You better cross the fucking street. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you are a middle-aged white man now. <laughs> yeah, absolutely I not. Mean, you are, I mean, you are one pixel of a picture away <laughs> from going away for kitty porn. <laughs> Dude, I'm, you're not fucking lying. So in that case, you have to call the police. Like, if... Fucking shit's going on. You know the parents are out of town, or you know they're elderly. So it's you call the police safer. and say, "Hey, hey I saw some young tenders running." Down. <laughs> yeah. I, saw, I, saw, I saw some underage tendies running around. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I can't give that an explosion. Sorry. <laughs> no, please don't. Please don't. No, <laughs> Whatever your filia is, I guess, I guess, don't feel you. In I my guess my opinion on that is like having the police do a welfare check is way easier to explain than me walking up into somebody's house. Hey, Clarence, you doing all right? Cla- See, the Clarence, problem is Clarence the, the, is dead on the floor. The problem is, do you know Clarence? No, that's what I'm saying. If it was a neighbor, I'm, I just okay, made so up you, Clarence. Would you go by and check on Clarence before you do this? thing? I mean, before you call the police on him? No, it's, it has to be. Because you're calling the police to his house. It has to I be mean, well, Clarence, over. Clarence was doing some stuff in his house. No, no, no. It's I mean, not well, like Clarence that. was cooking meth. It's not like that. I mean, you got Clarence all fucked up. He's <laughs> <laughs> Clarence, is, it's, Clarence has been there taking apart the TV for three days. That's all it is. Clarence is in there. He's cooking. fine. Clarence is there cooking fucking meth, and now you done fucked the whole neighborhood up. <laughs> no, it's it's got to be overt. For example, you were breaking bad in your the, own neighborhood. The last, the last time. I had a welfare check done on somebody. I knew the dude was in his 80s, right? That sounds fucked up. It's the middle of the night. His garage is open. The interior garage is open. What? And his and his driver's side truck door was wide open. And it was 1230. And he's 80. So why, house, why does this sound like something off Forensic Files? Because that's what it felt like. No, that's what I'm saying. It has to be like Forensic Files level overt. Was there a bloody wrench somewhere? <laughs> There was a bloody candle. Okay. Did he, re- Listen. Did he recently marry a young blonde? <laughs> Listen, this, this is the best way to describe it. You like brunettes, huh? <laughs> this is the best way to describe it. I, I, yes, I when, do. I, when I, do I get like old, I, I want to Anna Nicole, Nicole Smith. <laughs> oh, yeah. Put me yeah, in my I mean, misery, in her but... prime? Oh, in the prime, I'll give her explosion. <laughs> in her prime, when he married her? When that old motherfucker married her, she was prime real estate. I look at it this way. I look at it this way. If somebody's over 70 years old, yeah. you should probably just call the police on them anyway to do a welfare check. Like, for example, if somebody would have done a welfare check on Vince McMahon 
he wouldn't be in the situation he's currently in. See, Vince McMahon is still alive. <laughs> and if you don't know, now you know. The great Vince McMahon has retired. The from iconic. Wrestling. The iconic Vince, Vince McMahon. McMahon. Are you going to do your impersonation? It's the only impersonation you could do. You're not very good at impersonations. What do you... Dude, I got fucking impersonations for days. Or... or <clears throat> uh, should I say? I got all the impersonations. You know who the fuck I am? Like Hulk Hogan and Vince McMahon? <laughs> Had a baby. But fucking... <laughs> <laughs> Catch your monkey pops. We made it 10 minutes. Yeah, yeah. 10 on. minutes into the episode, and Diesel Fresh started to Hold poke on, his ugly like, head did out. Did Vince McMahon retire because he got caught butt fucking? <laughs> butt fucking, I go get a caught monkey box. Is that what happened? Is that the story we're going to stick with? He was butt fucking no, Hulk Hogan caught the monkey box. He's retiring because he's old. And allegedly no, paid no, like no, twelve I, I, million dollars yeah, to women. Actually, actually, that was him butt fucking Hulk Hogan and catching monkey pox would be a much better story than him paying off four women twelve million dollars. Pussy is eight. <laughs> inflation, dude. Hey, it's come inflation. To, come to Portland. Cheap pussy's cheaper here. <laughs> okay, so was this allegedly for like sexual assault? No, 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 no. Well, this, like this, this is what I was fucking with you. I'm done fucking with you. Shut the fuck up. Okay. Two more questions. That's what you pay a prostitute for not to tell on you. You don't pay the fuck. <laughs> girls love the fuck. They got let girls love the fuck all the fucking time. But you pay her to shut the fuck up and act like this never happened. <laughs> and leave quick. I'm paying like, you to leave quickly. First of all, did anyone did anyone ever assume Vince McMahon wasn't fucking everything that came through his door? See, that's a big assumption. Like Vince McMahon, let's. I go all the way back. To the early 80s when I was watching wrestling. I started watching wrestling. And Vince McMahon was the shit. I mean, he wasn't the shit. He was just the commentator. I didn't even know he did what he did on there. But all the stuff he's done, I mean, <laughs> he brought me Hulkamania, the Junkyard Dog. Everybody died of cocaine overdoses, to be honest with you. <laughs> I mean, most of my favorite wrestlers are were died on, on, on drugs. Just But he brought us the, the spectacle. I mean, people yeah, like the, everything. The people everything like the Rock. You can think of. Stone Cold Steve Austin. And who, who else? Undertaker. Did? Undertaker. Dude. The fucking Hardy Boys. Bret Hart. NWO. That whole No, he shit. brings NWO. What do you mean? It was on his platform. No, not really. What do you mean it was? No, what do you mean not really? Okay, see, so if you don't know, NWO was in WCW. And when WCW got bought by Vince McMahon, he tried to bring NWO back, and it sucked. Oh, I'm look. sorry. I'm a bit of a wrestling fan. Oh, look. He did own WCW. Again, on his fucking platform, son. You could suck in that. Dude. You want to fuck it? You want to? I'll see you no, in the no, ring. I got, I'll see I got, you I got, in the I got, ring. I got, I got to stop because Jimmy Pedals does not take shit. <laughs> Listen, I know <laughs> I know you got this fucking hookup on Portland Wrestling. Do we need to go down there and handle you some business? You, want, you do not want to fuck with Jimmy Pedals. <laughs> you do not want to fuck with the world champion, Jimmy Pedals. The champ. The undisputed <laughs> champion. So Vince McMahon, what he does, and I understand, Vince. I mean, there's a lot of good looking work that you got on that stage with you. I hey. You know, if Elon Musk, if Elon Musk can fucking ship him out, why can't Vince? Dude, first of all, Vince McMahon is putting you on, baby. At the very I least. Know, he, Vince at was, the very he, least. He, he was putting everybody else on. <laughs> at the very least, and then he passed, you could give him a bluey. And, 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 <laughs> and with him, he would pass you on to his homeboy. See? See? Uh, he's, uh, not, uh, he's not leaving you without a job. He's giving you he's giving you long term benefits, girl. Hey, but is it really that wrong? I mean, if you're a consenting adult and you walked away with three million dollars for sharing your private parts, <laughs> I don't think you're doing that bad. Well, okay, it depends. Depends on what? What was Vince driving at the time? What kind of car? What, what kind of car is a Vince McMahon? I don't know. Vince McMahon has a bunch of different cars. No, no, me, no. no, me, if I have Vince McMahon money, okay, I will go get my dream car. What's that? My Lexus. You've already had a Lexus. Another Lexus. <laughs> Another one. <laughs> the Lexus SC 430. Ooh. One of the most beautiful cars ever made. If you watch Top Gear, they say it's one of the most boring cars ever made. If you like some shit, you fuck with it. Uh, you want to be original all, and a classic. First of all, if you are Vince McMahon buying an SC430, you're not going to fit in that motherfucker. You're 6'2", like 260. SC430 is long like a Cadillac, bitch. You ain't never seen no what? classic car? No, fuck that, you know dude. It is not that big. It's, it's long like a Cadillac. No you know, fucking way. I guess you never handled anything big before. Um, listen... 
I've had some of your sloppy seconds. They were big enough. Sorry, too much information. <laughs> well, you know, I mean, a motherfucker like me tells you it's cold, that the water's cold when I take a pee. So yeah, so fuck it, fuck you. Why do you? So why do you want another car payment? If you're Vince McMahon, why the fuck do you want another car payment? Why would I want a car payment? You're saying if I'm Vince McMahon. Yeah, I mean, if, if we're going to play make-believe, I need you to continue to make-believe, make, make believe, and maybe we come up with a fucking safe word. You said, if I'm Vince McMahon, what car do I want? I'm paying cash for the motherfucker from Vince but McMahon. But he's got to fucking, he's got to pay all the whores. I mean, how much money does this guy even have? I think like 70, 80 million bucks. He's really rich. That's Okay. That's fair. I mean, you exploit people. You have them do drugs <laughs> until they fucking die. <laughs> or until they blow their fucking brains out. Yeah. Jesus Christ. I mean, you drop a guy from the ceiling. Wait a minute. Oh, hang on. I'm thinking about this. How much is an SC430? Lexus are fucking expensive. If Vince McMahon's paying all his whores, maybe he's only getting a oh, $40,000 get, car. Right now, you get one twelve to fifteen grand. That's all you can get on it. It's, it's nothing Seriously? big. It's nothing big. No. Huh. Fifteen grand. See, I, I could be Vince McMahon and have a fleet of them. <laughs> a flock. A, a flock. gaggle, as it were. I mean, for it seems like if I got that many bitches, I would need more cars. Now, <laughs> it, it's a two-seater. <laughs> you know a lot about this car. I know, yeah, I know a lot about the car. Is, it, is, this, I mean, is uh, this your dream car? Is this it, Vince it, McMahon's dream car? If I was Vince McMahon. See, but if you, you were you, oh so you, fresh, you, you need to define how to make... Oh, if you were oh so fresh. As oh so fresh, that is my dream car. But you need to define how the make believe is working here. I don't need to define I, I, shit. Okay, this I, isn't this isn't one of those fucking LBGTQ I still, I still fucking heard, things. I'm asking you about man shit. We're I, talking about cars. Okay. Okay. What fucking kind of, cars? What, what kind of car do you drive? Me? I yeah. drive a Volkswagen, dude. Yeah. Gas mileage for days, baby. Diesel you drive, all you drive day. A diesel. A fucking diesel. Yeah, you drive a what? A two thousand something Cadillac. It smells like Popeye's chicken every time you yeah. drive by. <laughs> Why, okay, why do you want an, want another Lexus? By the way, you you don't have twelve to fifteen grand. You just save your money. I I, I why, why, why I'm I'm in my forties. Okay. I should have a couple. Okay. okay, I should have a couple. I should have a, a couple dollars laying around. Okay. okay, so hear me out. Since since we're talking about saving money, and you know I, I went, I, you know I would go get it on fucking payments. That's cool. Why I could get a low interest rate. Back back to me. Since, you know, in about 10 years, I'm going to be middle-aged. I, dude, I need to figure out how to fucking save some real money. Like, I'm, I can save money, but then I'm just like, ah, what am I doing? And then I just go shopping. Or I'll, tell you, I'll tell you like, exactly how to save money. Shit. Real quick, real easy. Just go bury that shit in the backyard. You take your money out. Go to the ATM. Take your money out. <laughs> and just bury that shit in the backyard. Or just invest in drugs. <laughs> I was just gonna say, should I just invest it in fucking yeah. cocaine or something? I mean, I, I, all sorts of drugs. Drugs have a long shelf life. <laughs> Even weed has a long ass shelf life. Just go buy a bunch of weed. Why? Why am I gonna fucking bury money in the backyard, and or go buy a bunch of weed? Because you won't use it. Because if you look, That's I, I don't know if you're the type of motherfucker that actually checks the balance on their card. I mean, I'm not saying I do. you are. I do. Then yeah, you you won't use it. Well, see, I have other accounts set up, but I also have but, debit, it, but I also have debit cards. To it, those it does it doesn't work. You're broke. I mean, you, you couldn't even afford the whole T-shirt. If you're watching this, <laughs> if you're watching this on Patreon, <laughs> you're watching watching this on Patreon. This motherfucker's wearing a tank top because he couldn't afford the whole shirt. Dude, I can I can afford like one more sleeve if I really want it. What is that, Calvin Klein? No, it's Walmart, dude. It's a fucking Fourth of July tank top because it's a hundred fucking degrees out here. Where, and now, can we get back to my financial woes here? So, what are your woes? I mean, what? Where, where, so, you money comes in. Right. Where does where does money go to? Some of it stays in my bank. My <coughs> this is where I run into it. I'm like, why the fuck am I saving money? I can save like a thousand bucks a month, and I'm like, okay. Why? And why are you saving money? Yeah, like why am I fucking doing this? Like, I don't want to make a big purchase where I have like another car payment. I don't want to do any of that shit. So I'm just I, like, I, ah, I'm gonna go do cool shit. I don't want to be fucking broke. And I want to be I want to be able to say if I got to say fuck you to where I'm working or what I'm doing, that I can just go down the street and just <laughs> see you fucking later. You know, if I see some fly shit that I just fucking won't, I'll just go get that. I, I mean, I'll go get I go go, go pay I got cash. You know, hey hey, have you ever I mean 
do you know the feeling of counting out a couple grand when you're buying a fo- yeah, few grand? No, that, that's fine, but like I have an excessive. Like for example, just brief, I, I just say briefcase, motherfucker. Right? I I say I know like, it all smells like Air Jordans, <laughs> Air Jordans and Russian. It's, just, it's just in my sock drawer. <laughs> yeah. I know there's worms crawling through it. No, I can fucking I can save like a thousand bucks a month, which uh, right now is fine. But I could be saving like sixteen hundred, and I'm just like, why the fuck do I care? And I'm dishing out, so you know I can handle an expensive purchase. Those are first world problems. If, yeah. you, <laughs> if you if you need to save five dollars a month, what I'll do is I will hold that five dollars for you because you should you should donate five dollars a month on your fucking Patreon, and I'll hold that five dollars for you. Now, do I do I promise to return it? Nah, I don't know. But for five dollars a month, so I want to tell you something, something that's pissed me the fuck off today. Thank you, for, thank you for acknowledging my woes. Carry on. Hey, don't spend the money. There you go. So if you really, if you want to save money, just put the money to the fucking side. Don't get robbed, but put the money to the fucking side. <laughs> That's all you got to fucking do. <laughs> not, or, not financial advice for you folks at home. Or, 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 or <laughs> buy a pound of weed and just put it in your house. It... it and if the weed and the weed is like the stock market, the price, the market goes up, market goes down. Boom! Buy low, sell high. There you go. Invest in something, or, or, or invest in a, a car, a race car team like Michael Jordan. I don't know. Figure out something to do. But you know, what really pissed me off because I think it is really just a fucking car day because I have run into this issue, this issue with traffic. Okay. Because now that I am commuting more, I'm in traffic more. And now I've come to the conclusion, and I, I want to know if you share the sentiment too, that when I am stuck in traffic and I get to the beginning of the traffic jam, this is going to be awesome. I'm always going, I hope somebody dies. <laughs> <laughs> or when I'm stuck, what the fuck? when I'm stuck in the back, especially when you've been in there for, you know, you knew it was going to be a five minute drive to where you had to go. And you're already creeping on 10 minutes. And you're like, somebody better be fucking dead up here. All, okay. That's what you say to yourself. Somebody, for, for me to be fucking late, you know what? You know how early I got up and pressed my goddamn pants to go to this fucking interview, and now I'm fucking late? Man, this, 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 this bitch better be fucking flipped over. I mean, it better look like the fucking there, Dukes there of Hazard was here. There you go. I, I was going to say, I've definitely caught myself saying, God damn it, there better be an accident or something up here. But I've never been like, man, some motherfucker better be dead. I want to see some blood on the ground. Now, I'm just seeing, I, to the extreme, so much, to, you know what I mean. I don't wish I don't wish anybody death on the way to work, but I feel like for all this inconvenience, somebody be could be dead up here. <laughs> somebody better have a broken leg or yeah, something. I mean, shit, a, la- a laceration of their forehead, something, I something mean, terrible. There, there, there should be, there should be a, a gas spillage or something. I mean, something <laughs> big. Because when you get up to the front and you're sitting there and like nothing fucking happened, <laughs> nothing at all. Nothing, nothing took place. No, and it's quite literally nothing. Like, there's not even anybody pulled over. Just all of a sudden, traffic starts flowing. The birds start singing. (laughs) I mean, because I I hear a choir in 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 my ears. I know you're white, so you hear a white choir. I hear a black choir. I hear a black choir. Hallelujah, singing. It's all good. But for 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 45 motherfucking minutes that it took me to get what takes me five minutes, I'm sitting there. I'm like, I hope. Jesus Christ. I hope. 45 fucking minutes. Somebody, somebody better be seriously motherfucking hurt up here. <laughs> Dude, I didn't... I, oh, I, somebody, hate, I, mean, I hate sitting in traffic. If you made like, me like to work, somebody needs... Somebody's going to need some rehab. <laughs> <laughs> no, I hate sitting in traffic, period. But when I was on the road, I would just like... Crank up rap music, dude, as loud as I could possibly do it. What? So you could be a part of the road rage? <laughs> yeah, exactly. What kind of rap music? Because there's, there's a lot of kinds of rap music. So oh, dude, what kind no, of rap music? No, like real rap music. No, like, no what, like what is Biggie, real rap Tupac, music? Tupac, California Love, fucking all that, Warren G, Regulators, all that shit. Yeah, yeah. I'd be like down in Atlanta. You know, that was, you know, you know that was the corniest poppy shit <laughs> when it was out. <laughs> yeah, I love how young motherfuckers like you would be like, yeah, I was bumping California love. Yeah, we stopped bumping California love. Goddamn, too short. Yeah. Okay, I'd bump some too short. You bump some too short. Like what? Uh, like our outro song. Oh, so you already know. So it's about you, that you time, to time to go. Let's get the fuck out of here. We got shit to do, and it's sweaty. Sweaty as fuck in here. It's 100 degrees outside, hotter than as fuck on the Hype Podcast, so go fuck yourself. 
Why are you throwing shit in my house? I was being dramatic. You already spilled like crumbs on the floor. <laughs> hey, hey, who gave me those crumbs? Who did? Yeah, because I can't give you no real food. You like me blaming you for shit? Sure? <laughs> hey, this has been the Hype Podcast. You want to get in touch, hit us up. 503-776-0167. Hit us up on Facebook. Facebook.com forward slash the Hype Podcast. And I'd like to say hi to all the people that listen to us regularly. All six of you. Sixteen. I hope you're in an air-conditioned room. Sipping on some drink, snacking on some snacks, and thinking of Oso because he's black. I rhyme sometimes. Is the song over yet? So here we go. Rest in peace to the great Vince McMahon for bringing me WrestleMania, for putting Mr. T in the ring, for making Cindy Lauper. His career last a little bit longer than it ever would have lasted for, you know, fucking putting Mike and Tyson in the ring. I mean, for fucking making Jake Paul fucking credible, worth the fucking shit. Thank you, Vince McMahon. I mean, you brought some bad shit to this world. I mean, really. I mean, you had skits on your show where somebody was fucking a dead chick. I mean, there's a lot of bad shit that Vince McMahon did. I mean, really. I mean, real, real fucked up shit. There was almost a storyline where his daughter's baby was going to be his. I mean, there's all sorts of fucked up shit. Vince McMahon, yes. He did well for himself. And if it takes taking out other people to do well for yourself, then fuck it and let it be. But don't act like you're some humanitarian. Don't act like you did something right for the world. You're over there polluting just like Nestle. It's the Hype Podcast, and we're out. Fuck it. We'll do it live. Oh, yeah.